Well, here we are at the Royal Institution in London to film some cool experiments we can't safely do elsewhere. We're going to film them with a Photron camera at 2000 frames per second in full high definition, so we'll be slowing down the action by about 80 times. Faraday would have loved this. After all, he did give public talks on chemistry in this very theatre. I just hope we don't burn a hole in the great man's desk. So we were hoping for a nice trickle of molten iron out the bottom of the flower pot, um, but that hasn't happened. It's completely collapsed. So here's the second attempt at our thermite reaction. We're um, after the first one uh, destroyed our plant pot to an unacceptable degree. So we're doubling up this time. what we wanted. It stayed intact this time. Perfect. Now for the two most reactive alkali metals, which we're filming here today at the Royal Institution. Do you have any phenolphthalein at all? I know it's not. Uh, really yeah, I do. I think. Good. Can you show that some to the water? Yeah, yeah definitely. Rubidium hydroxide coming through. So this is the lump of rubidium that we're going to uh, explode in a second. There's a second bit we're going to do on. It's under liquid nitrogen at the moment, so I'm only going to take it out very briefly, but you can see it's about very small. the size of a pea or something. So that's about the same size as the one we just did, which caused a hell of an explosion. Right, ready? Ready, okay. Okay, dropping it out. Okay, so this is the vial of the cesium. This is what we're going to be dropping in water to see what it does. As you can see, it's a liquid in the hot confines of the laboratory. Beautiful golden liquid. So I'm looking forward to seeing a few explosions when it gets in contact with the water. So I could probably sort of 
Move. Move it. Just take it inside the camera right there. That way you do that thing on. Okay, let's go. One big puff. Gordon Bennett. This is the setup for the nitrogen triiodide. This is very, very shock sensitive, so we need to have it in situ before we try and detonate it. So we're going to smear the wet triiodide on these little plates here, uh, let it dry out, and then try and set it off with a feather or some other very light touch. Okay, here's the dangerous bit. Even a breath of air can set this stuff off. And he's got to pick up the triiodide from its preparation table and carry it very gently over to the stage. Good luck, fella. Done. Perfect. Okay, what are we going to do? Find out if it's dry now. Okay. My <laughs> Crikey. Jesus. Yeah, it, it was dry. <laughs> That's the loudest thing I've ever heard. Well, I've never said it up. What about bubbles though? Because you can have lots of bubbles coming down and then one of them's going to hit it, isn't it? Yeah. We can try it. Oh! Oh, I didn't set it off. Oh, it didn't set it off. Ooh, you tease. Oh. No. no. Okay, let's do it the old fashioned way. Aeroplane, paper aeroplane. That would be amazing. From, from the balcony. Yeah. And a balloon competition. A brush, a balloon. Balloon would be nice. Balloon. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could drop a balloon on it. Definitely. Okay, let's try that. Ready? <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh my geez. god. Oh, that works. Good shot. And the tile apart. Yeah, that's some good work.